In a special election this past Tuesday, Democrats flipped an Orlando area seat house, a house seat that was previously held by a Republican. Businessman and military veteran Tom Keene faced Osceola County School Board member Erica Booth in the special election for Florida House District 35. Keene narrowly won with just over 51 percent of the vote. He becomes the 36th Democrat in the Florida House, which remains solidly in GOP control with 84 Republican members. His opponent was Erica Booth, a conservative school board member from Osceola County, whose campaign spent more than twice as much as Keene did in the race. The winner will fill out the remaining term that was vacated by Fred Hawkins, a Republican who resigned to become president of a state college in South Florida. Here's how Keene described how he won. Well, we're, we're focused on the issues that we ran on, reproductive freedom and, and stopping or getting a, a hold of this uh, insurance crisis. Uh, both of those issues, I think, are nonpartisan. I think that they, uh, they cut across all, you know, independents or Republicans or Democrats. And the folks know from me talking with them at the door that, that I mean what I say and I say what I mean. So Kirby, uh, this district did go for Joe Biden by 5% in 2020. So it, it, it is a, a purple district, but Democrats are hoping they can replicate what Keene did in District 35 near Orlando around the state. Is that possible? Can it be duplicated around the state? No, um, but uh, there, you know, look, there, there's bad news and good news here for, for Democrats. Bad news, like you said, um, Joe Biden won this district by five points. Tom Keene won it by one. Uh, in, in, you know, you could argue that's an erosion of support for Democrats. Uh, uh, Governor DeSantis won the district by 10 points in 2022, and so they've clawed some of that territory back. But I, I just want to, I think it's important to just zoom out here. The Florida Democratic Party has never been lower. Um, in, in both the Senate and the House, I believe, they have, they're, in this, they're in a super minority. Uh, it's a, uh, they, they can't even make procedural motions to block bills in ways that they could have just a few years ago. The, the most promising candidate uh, for governor that they've had in the last decade was found on the floor of a hotel room with drugs and a, and a male escort, uh, allegedly. Um, you know, like they're, they're, the, the bar is so low for success in the Florida Democratic Party. Uh, and I think um, any success is something that they should be proud of and, and, and hold on to. So I think what we've seen was them clearing the abysmally low bar that they've set for themselves in the last quarter century. And they're having trouble fundraising, too. Well, yeah, I mean, that's always going to be the problem. But no matter how much fundraising, uh, you know, they, they can, no matter how much, so say, they can ride the abortion wave this, uh, this election and, and maybe convince the national party that Florida is worth investing in, the, as far as the legislature goes, it's so gerrymandered that it's going to be difficult to pick up more than uh, just a few more seats uh, in order to maybe maybe get over the 40 seat threshold in the House and uh, you know and, and and the I think 16 seat threshold in the Senate just to uh, again make it so we, there can be some procedural moves to block some of the Republican uh, agenda come, come session. Trebell, after this election, uh, the uh, ch chairwoman of the Florida Democratic Party, Nikki Freed, was pretty upbeat. She said, we can replicate this around the state. Abortion rights, homeowners insurance, some of the other issues that Keene ran on. What's your take? Is that possible? Well, that's very optimistic. It, it will take rinsing and repeating 22 more times to really have any influence in this Republican supermajority. Um, as just mentioned, uh, Democrats have no power. They really have to rely on friendships to get the, the least of the crumbs of their issues passed uh, with their Republican colleagues. So uh, they're hoping, and Nikki Frieda said, they're hoping that this gives some sort of boost and momentum, but um, they are really outnumbered here in Tallahassee and they need to do something. They need a miracle to, to even get competitive um, here at the Capitol. Okay.